Yeah, so this guy's pretty expensive, 44. I'm okay with it though. I mean, I'm making good money. I'm all right with paying them more. Um, if they're already higher skill, but it is better for your bottom line. It is better to hire somebody who has really low skills and wants a low wage and to pay to train them than it is to hire somebody who is already uh, better trained because they're going to want more money for their, you know. So it is better to do that. But both of my employees want to be full time, so I can't really do much about it when I only have two people. And it's expensive to recruit, so I have to learn that too. Uh, let's take and study for 13 hours. Wow. I'll be tired as heck, but let's do it. Train the other very cheap employee on cleaning. Nah, they, they're going to have too many hours. They can only work. I, I need more employees. I, I, two employees isn't enough to do what you're asking. I need more employees to do that. And I, I do plan to have more. It's just... Uh, is, it, is it this one? Ah, I totally... <laughs> I totally ran over that person. Well, gosh, I was, I'm just coming from the bar. Excuse me. I'm just, I, I'm just coming from the bar. If I drive slow, the cops will never know. Just don't speed. Whatever you do, don't speed. If I just drive slower, <laughs> they'll never know. <laughs> oh, well, not slow enough, apparently. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go like this. Uh, okay. Uh, so, we got, you know, getting our business administration stuff going on, right? And then, um, I think tomorrow we'll go in and uh, try to find some new employees. Okay. Tomorrow will be a good day to get the recruiter back at the task. We're making 1900 a day total profit, which is good. We can start paying down our loan a little faster if we'd like to now. With 1900 a day profit, it's pretty good. Go back to Econoview. Um, not very high interest. I really don't care about the $7 a day. But we could definitely get rid of these a little bit. Um, it is... At this stage of the game, though, for most players, I would kind of recommend at this stage of the game to not so much worry about your loans as much as it is getting a second business. A second business is going to cost you a lot of money. And that the, the restaurant, all the stuff in the restaurant, if, if that's what you want to do for your second business, that costs a lot of money for the equipment. So the supplies are relatively cheap. But the equipment is very expensive. And you typically need a bigger place. You need lots of tables and chairs, etc. Um, but if you want to start like a jewelry store, for example, well, then the equipment is very cheap, but the products you have to sell are very expensive. So you need a lot of upfront capital for the stuff you want to sell. The second business is going to be more expensive for you to start than the first one. And so this little bit of interest isn't really as damaging as it might look. Um, if you're borrowing a lot of money, then I, I get it. The only reason I would potentially want to pay off these loans early is if I'm going to take another loan and I want a bigger loan and I want to just kind of consolidate them into one big loan, right? Uh, and then manage it that way because the interest might be more favorable. I have no idea if there's a credit score in this game. I don't remember. Um, so as we get better and better standing, maybe we get better interest rates. I have no idea. Um, that would be a cool thing to have, like some kind of a credit score in the game. Uh, but I don't see that. So I don't know. Charlie, you stream only on YouTube? So um, I, I have been streaming only on YouTube. However, uh, starting, I believe, next week, it really depends on when Star, Star Citizen's update happens. Starting next week, though, I am going to be uh, pushing some Star Citizen content to Twitch. Um, you'll see the Twitch link in video descriptions and channel and all that stuff. Uh, I am going to start playing Star Citizen on Twitch. It, it's, it's more about community there than anything else. Um, it would work on YouTube, I suppose. But it didn't work well on YouTube, to be honest. So I am going to start pushing Star Citizen there. Everything else, though, comes to YouTube. Yeah. So I can get the recruiting started. Because I do, I do need more employees. I'm hoping for people who have lower wages. And then I can just start them on training and then swap them out. And you can move employees from one place to another and everything. So as you accumulate a list of employees, you know, you can say, okay, don't work here anymore. I'd like you to work over here instead. And you want to get their satisfaction high. Um, you know, you want to satisfy all the things that they want. $30 an hour, eventually will they will ask for, uh, you know, raises, they're gonna ask for more money, etc. Uh, they'll have uh, more wants and demands over time stuff too. So there's there's lots of management stuff that's been built into the game now that didn't necessarily exist when we played it the first time. So 8400 for the grift, uh, customer service still, I'd like young people just because uh, we're a hip place. <laughs> um, also because I'd rather they um, 
you know, if they're older, they tend to have more experience, they tend to have higher skills, which means they want more money. I'm, you know, a cheapo American business owner, all right? I want the cheap kids out of high school who are just like, I don't know what a good wage is, so I can pay them dirt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do six people uh, over the course of uh, three days. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good way to do it. And then I think maybe I'll get a cleaning person too to come in every other day, kind of thing. So I don't have to deal with it. So one cleaning person, same kind of deal. We'll do like uh, let's do two candidates, probably fine. Uh, and I'll pay you eight hundred bucks to find them over two, three days. Okay, so we want to get it to the point now, right, where we don't have to manage our business. We don't have to uh, go in and directly hands-on manage the business. We want to have we want to have employees that can do that for us, so that I can snowball it and and get more businesses running. Uh, focus on education, and you know, focus on um, you know being able to train people and getting again more businesses started. Right, that's the idea. But everybody starts from the ground up. I'll park here right next to this fire hydrant. Supposedly it's legal, but it cost me $8. Is it is it $8 to park across the street? No, it's free across the street. Oh, how do they determine whether it's paid or not? I wonder how, they, uh, wonder how the game is doing that. It's all good. Uh, fundamental business administration. I need another nine hours. Wasn't the shelf for jewels like 10k? I don't remember. Um, I, to be honest, I don't remember. It's been a while. All I know is that jewelry stores, you need a lot of upfront capital. And to be honest, a, sh a single shelf for 10k is not that expensive. As far as equipment goes, a single shelf for 10K is not expensive. Um, compared to a restaurant where you're gonna need like six different pieces of equipment and it's gonna be like 50 grand for all of it, it's it's not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm wondering if better beds will give me more rest with less sleep. Uh, I also need to, do, need to know what I'm doing today. Um, what am I gonna do with this day? Uh, I got seven grand, it's early in the morning. And I've got my, my business administration course I thought was done, but it says I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it? Maybe, okay. No, I did nine hours. I had 13. Ah, I had 13. So I did nine hours not because that's all I needed. I did nine hours because that's when they closed. <laughs> I wasn't me. I avoided hitting that guy. What if you carry food with you at the end of the day, energy, but less food? Yeah, so I, uh, I've done that once already. It, like I wanted to sleep in my car. And um, so once you put the food in the fridge, it doesn't look like you can take it out again without just eating it. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I haven't found a way to do that. Um, so what I would do is I just, I just shop at the grocery store and then you take that paper bag and you just put it in your car. So if I went to like say, Elgato uh, Foods here. And I go inside the supermarket and I grab, you know, like say a couple groceries, right? Like this, let's say. I just buy it. This is gonna be a single paper bag. And a single paper bag has food in it. I can put that paper bag inside the car. It only takes up one slot. And, uh, you know, you can, whenever you want, manage storage, grab the paper bag. It will have all your food in it and you can just consume it there. So if you don't want to keep going back to your apartment, but you need food, that's one way to do it. I haven't found a way to do that when it's already in your apartment. Like once it's in the fridge, it's no longer in a paper bag. And so you don't just, you don't just like will the paper bag into existence, right? I want to show something else they put in the game pretty recently. When we were playing the alpha and the betas before, there was always this, you know, the water was always over here, right? 
but there was there was just for importers, right? So we had the water over here. And it's where you get imports. But not just imports anymore. Now there's an actual marina. And there's boats. Big boats. So I want to go check out the boats because I haven't actually taken the time to go look at them yet. But yes, you can buy the boats. You can buy the boats. You too can own your own a big fancy yacht. If you've got the if you've got the income to spend on it, you can buy it. I also need to get a black on black on black, you know, Beamer or something. Mercedes. Let's go check out the boats. We got time, right? We're gonna live our dreams. We're gonna be living our dreams. We gotta we're gonna dream big. Okay, look at this. Look at this gigantic boat. Look at this thing. Buy a yacht. Change its color. It's 99 million. <laughs> it also costs 9 million a year to maintain. And 9 million a year is expensive. Um, if you're not familiar with the game, um, one year is 60 in-game days. So 60, game is, 60 days is a year. Uh, it's just, you know, for the balance reasons and everything. So basically, you're going to have to pay 9 million every 60 days to maintain this boat. Uh, and when you get to 90, you die, as far as I understand. You get to 90, you die. Uh, there are ways, though. Um, as you get older, you can go into the hospital. You can talk to uh, Dr. Turnity. There are ways to prolong your life. And extend it but yes death is in the game and um so if you're making a lot of money you can afford a giant ass yacht otherwise there's other boats that are not quite as expensive so you you could go in and, and get like this dragonfly f1s right the dragonflies are a little bit uh a little bit more reasonably priced right just 3.2 million get yourself a different color right as far as i'm aware you don't drive the boats. Uh, I, I've never tried them, right? so I don't know. But as far as I'm aware, it's not like cars where you can drive them around. I don't believe you can do that in this game. And you know what? It'd be really cool if you could, all right? If, you, if all they'd have to do to make that happen, it would be almost pointless, right? But all they'd have to do to make that happen is just extend the map to have more water. Like, take the amount of water that's here and triple it in that direction. And that's it. So, like, allow us to get in the boat and then just, you know... Just, just go around. It, it mean nothing. It means nothing, right? You're not gonna go anywhere. But at least you can, at least you can drive the boat. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. But at the moment, it's just bragging rights, um, and you can sleep on it. You can sleep in your boat if you want. We'll add it later. Promise. Oh, you can't. Hey, Avgard, what's up, dude? I didn't know you were here. Avgard's in the chat, everybody. If you have questions, ask him. <laughs> now is your chance. All right. So, um, as a recap, I still have one alert. Business is dirty and needs cleaned. Right. I haven't got my cleaning employee yet. Uh, I also haven't been contacted about said cleaning employee yet. All right. So let's go back to wherever that business is. I am on the right street. I wasn't sure if this was the right street. I totally got it right. Okay. We're just going to park the wrong way. I still think you should get a ticket. It should be illegal if I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just trying to take little tiny jabs and make people um, have a worse time with the game. I think all my ideas are probably terrible. Like my food idea. Were you here before, Avgard? Were you here when I was talking about what food should do? Because currently it doesn't seem like there's any real consequence to just starving yourself and not eating anything. If there is a consequence to it, I don't see it. My gosh, we're getting lots of traffic in the store now. This is way dirtier than it was before. Lots more questions. Uh, you just joined? So I was thinking, like, there doesn't seem to be any consequences to starving yourself. So what you, one thing you could do is introduce uh, health 
ailments, like you're sick, like you're feeling sick today, right? And if you, if you don't get enough sleep regularly and you starve yourself often enough, it could lower your immune system and get yourself sick. When that happens, your character naturally moves maybe like 20% slower on every in every way, but also your happiness drops way down and your customer service ability is, is reduced. And so like your ability to serve customers or manage a store, your customer, your employees being around you isn't, like I don't know what that does, like me being in the store. I don't know if there's any like relation with this, but I feel like if, if you made the player sick, right? Like actually sick, so there's a consequence to it that reduced their business's uh, efficacy, then they'd be more motivated to not starve themselves. <laughs> When you're at zero percent, you burn energy way faster. Oh, okay. I hadn't I hadn't noticed it, but I think it's because most of the time when I'm at when I'm at like no health uh, or no food, I've been most of the time I'm also really low on energy anyway. So I guess there's that. All right, I need new employees that are willing to work for nothing. Not you. Uh, these two people are pretty low wages, and they want to both be full time. Guess what, Theodore and Steven? You're both hired, but plot twist, you're gonna be trained instead. Oh, unassigned. And unassigned, there. You're training instead, enjoy that. We're gonna get these guys up to be really good. Once they're good, they will manage my gift shop. And then these two can go back and train. Those are my training people. Did I not get any cleaning people? Not yet. That was a separate campaign though, so I imagine they'll probably call me later. Yeah. That's good. Uh, let's see, 15, I've already completed this. Open a fast food restaurant as a second business. Use the help system to learn more about business types. I'm wondering if there are different business types in the game. Let's hit F1, see what that's about. All right, so florist wasn't a thing the last time I played. Web development agency was just a thing, but I hadn't gotten around to doing it yet. Um, everything else seems to be pretty much the same as what there was before, uh, as far as like when I played before, but I don't think a florist was a thing, at least not before. So I, I want to do a fast food restaurant though, and, um, they can sell burgers, French fries, pizza, salad, soda, and hot dogs. We know that burgers had a increase in their, um, in their demand, but donuts were also in high demand before. And that's a coffee shop. So I'm wondering if that's changed uh, since. Yeah, donuts are still in high demand. Burgers are still way up. And uh, import price index, 1.7. I assume that means they're expensive to import. So, or at least more expensive than, say, donuts are uh, to import. But there's eight businesses already doing this where there is no, there is no donut shop. So the tutorial wants me to do, or the story mode, I guess, wants me to do a fast food restaurant if I wasn't being prompted to do a fast food restaurant, I probably would end up doing a coffee shop instead for the donuts. But fast food restaurants have the ability to also sell French fries and pizzas, and they're all on this list. So I can get a lot more customers, I think, that way. And you like restaurants are things that everybody goes to, right? Like not not a lot of people need a jewelry store right now. Not a lot of people you know, are looking for a gift to buy. But pretty much everybody at some point is going to eat. And uh, so that's probably something like that. So I've got $6,000. And I don't think 6000 is enough to... You're not bad. Yeah, you're pretty good. Tire you too. Charlie mentioned the thing you said with carpets before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so like a little... It's not really so hidden, I guess, but... I'm imagining like an Easter egg, right? Maybe it, maybe it doesn't get put in the notes or something, right? But imagining that things like this matter, where I walk into the grift, I've placed a carpet at the door. And I'm thinking if you place a rug right on the door, it would reduce how much dirt gets tracked into the rest of your store. Because it would, you know, most of the dirt ends up on the carpet. But I don't know if that's a thing. It probably isn't. But I was mentioning that before. I was like, you know, if I wanted to reduce how fast this place gets dirty, I would put a rug right by the door. Because that is something that's going to help. 
and people not tracking in dirt for the rest of the store. Okay, if I wanted to open up a fast food restaurant, I would have to go to Le Map. Probably would want a place with a bigger customer volume, possibility, more traffic. Down in the street here seems like it'd be um, an interesting place. It's a big enough location to have a lot of like uh, tables and stuff. This doesn't seem too bad. Daily rent of 81. Doesn't seem too bad. Um, if I went back to the map really quick, uh, whoops, back to the map. Uh, is there a better place though? This is 42. I want some place with really high traffic. 37. So like 50 is, 50 is looking like it's king right now. That looks like the best place for this to happen. And it's right down the road from the gift shop. It'd be easier to manage. Um, it's really close also to, well, technically it's a little bit closer to the wholesaler, but I thought this was the wholesaler for a starter, but it's not. This is Ikea, which is fine because I could get the furniture and stuff and just pop it in there. Not bad. 37 is pretty good. 38. Uh, how about these places over here? 40. 49. Yeah, I mean, this is like, this is like solid location. I think this is where I'm going to be here. I think so. Uh, for those of you who are watching the, the stream right now, I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate that. Um, Comcast does appear to be hitting me uh, in terms of uh, the... Uh, my bit right the stream is kind of getting a little bit jittery um so i apologize if that happens um and there's nothing i can do about it but i am seeing a little bit of a struggle there so uh, if you're noticing maybe some glitches or frame skips or something it's because of my uh my internet service provider uh, i'm gonna go ahead and take this building so 81 what's the name of this place i need a name i need a name for my new fast food restaurant there are 14 competitors which seems like, that's the most competitive place. There are no other industries where there are more businesses than that. But the demand is also quite high overall, so you need that many businesses to satisfy it, I guess. There is that. So what do we want for the name of our business? Drop me some names in the chat, and uh, I'll find one that I really like, and I'll just I'll choose that. <laughs> I like this, actually. I think I like that. Grill me slowly. Grill me slowly. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Grill me slowly. Um, all right. So obviously we're not open yet. Uh, we have a lot of things we need to do to add uh, to grill me slowly. Um, and of course, we already have. I'm training, right? My new employees and everything are all getting trained uh, so that they can go and work in this new business. So I, that's why I'm hiring more people. Uh, we also need a lot more people for the other businesses too because people can call in sick. So I still need more recruitments. And uh, recruitment is expensive. I mean, it is. It's just in real world, it's very expensive to hire people. So hiring people is a process. I might need another loan. It's hard mode. Hey, guys. Excuse me. I'm trying to turn around here, okay? I mean, I know I didn't use my blinker, but in my defense, my, this car has no blinker. I can't use it. As far as I know, there's no blinker. Oh, it's right here. All right, of course, it's very close. And there's free parking here. Oh, very nice. Okay, so let's decide kind of what we want to do with this place. Um, I'm thinking probably we put all the equipment for ordering and everything. Uh, we could probably put all the equipment in the back here and then have all the tables and stuff here. Right, that seems pretty straightforward. The stock room looks like it'll take uh, probably, if I move the hand truck, it'll be one, two, three, four shelves, but I probably only need maybe three shelves at most. We could start with two though. Yeah, probably start with two. So we're gonna go to AJ's, which is just down the road actually, so no need to move the car. Let's keep that, keep that parking spot. Um, it's right next to AJ. It's very convenient. And uh, we're going to need to buy a couple of things. And I don't think I can afford it right now. We need an industrial grill and a cabinet. I'm pretty sure those things are expensive. Um, like, just the, look at this. Industrial freezer is 20 grand. You know? Restaurant booth, $2,000. Now, I'm wondering. Ooh, 
booths. Hey, I didn't know these existed. What's up, booths? I mean, I probably knew it existed, but I don't remember. Like, I, I did, um, you know, they wrote the script, but I, I read the scripts for a lot of the update videos, like from like beta six and beyond, or something like that, maybe seven. Uh, I don't remember there being a booth in that script, so that might be a very, very new thing. Uh, but somebody asked about the jewelry cases before. Those are 10 6. So they are quite expensive, but not as much as just a single industrial freezer. Uh, what I'm looking for, though, was the grill. Okay, so 1600 I can afford that. And then the cabinet. I would assume that that is just the regular cabinet with drawers, I guess. So that's. I guess I can afford what they're asking me to buy. But I suspect I'm going to need additional capital to pull this off. So one grill. Um, ideally hot dog grill. But those are more expensive than the regular grill. And then uh, we'll do a cabinet with drawers, I suppose. Maybe two. And there's a changing room for the clothing shops now. Ooh, cool. Uh, we're going to probably need a... Ch I don't think I need a checkout counter like that, though. Um, big pallet shelf. I need one storage shelf. That's all I can afford really right now. So we'll place this order for now. And let's get that. Let's get that back over to our new store. Grill me slowly. Ding dong. So a storage shelf. Always great to have. Uh, we'll put that here for now. Uh, we'll say that the cabinets, for the time being, I mean, you kind of want this to, mm, I'm, now I'm thinking maybe it goes over here instead and let this be the restaurant. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's what I do instead. It's hard to choice because like I like how it's indented here, so like it, it makes sense that all the equipment could go in here and everything. But then the stock room is way over here. I guess we could always do it something like this, and then that way they just leave and then go in the stock room and bring it. I'm trying to like it doesn't matter, of course. The the people aren't actually going to bring stuff stuff from the stock room out. It's just gonna appear. But you know, I'm trying to think about like realistic design and how I would do it. Um. Put the cabinet like this, and then the industrial grill would go. For, for now, I guess I'll place it back in here. Uh, oh, right. This goes on top of that. That's why. So we want this to be moved back. Grill. Uh, eh. I don't know. You know? Like, maybe? Let's just sit back here for now. Maybe we can just indent these back a little bit. This is actually quite a... There's a lot of room in here. I, I, there's more room in here that I... Actually, uh, thought from the picture. More spacious than the photo. I say that now, but, like, once I start buying chairs and tables and, you know, plants and speakers and, you know, the big fry, the big, uh, fry machines and stuff, like, once I start doing that, well, it's good. That's going to change everything, I think. Probably. Um. Uh, let's see. What else should I do? Can I... I don't have any money. I either, t I either take a loan or... I think the loan might be worth it. I've been struggling with that because I don't want to take on additional debt. I usually think it's really irresponsible to take on additional debt. Hang on, we got... Uh, I'm going to text while I drive here. So you... Uh, eh, no... I think anybody over $40 an hour is just getting canceled. Sorry. We don't hire for $40 plus. Come back later. Come back when you're reasonable. Is there any other classes I should take? I mean, I got time. I'm wondering if I should just maybe get ahead of it. And see if there's any other classes I can take. Not yet. I, I thought there were a couple more classes eventually, but just the two so far, I guess. Okay. 
fast food is expensive hopefully it makes a lot of money yeah yeah so like i was saying earlier fast food restaurants have um if you want to serve everything they have a higher startup cost the individual the individual products that you buy are relatively cheap compared to like gifts like on a, on a per product basis the, the the stuff that you're buying is cheaper but the equipment is got a really high startup cost and that's that's the problem so right now with eight hundred dollars yeah with eight hundred dollars i can't really do anything is it wasn't it, jensen capital was over here right i thought it was like right here yeah i was trying to find it i think i might take another loan let's drive ourselves into debt <laughs> It's not like we don't already have two loans outstanding. Let's get a third. I so want, I still want to, I know I've, I've said this to you, Hobgard. I know I've said this to you so many times. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't expect you to ever do it. I really want to look around in my car. I want to be able to rotate the camera. <laughs> I still want to be able to get closer too. zoom in. I'll never have it. It's fine. I'll never have it. It's okay. <laughs> um, geez, startup cost for the restaurant. 20 grand? $105. Let's go, let's go bigger. Let's say, actually, let's consolidate our loans. I want to, I want to, I want to just manage a couple of loans instead of having all these different loans. Um, so I currently owe, uh, so it's about 20 grand is what I owe, a little over 20,000. So if I borrow, let's say 40 grand, let's borrow 40. The interest rate doesn't change depending on how much I'm borrowing either. Let's borrow 40,000. Let's go 50,000, why not? Let's just let's round that up. 50,000, my daily loan payment will be 263. My current daily loan payment is less than half of that. But I'm also borrowing a lot more money. I think I can make that work. We'll borrow 50. Oh. Okay, they, they won't handle more. Oh, combine. Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering if there was like a credit, a credit worthiness thing. Okay. Um, so it says, unfortunately, we're not able to handle a combined loan amount of more than 40,000 per client. Combining your existing activities at our bank with the requested amount will exceed this threshold. Well, I'm going to use the money to pay off the other loan. <laughs> so, uh, fine. So I'll borrow. <laughs> it doesn't really do me anything to like borrow 20 grand to pay off. But if I want to consolidate my loans, then maybe that's why it would work. Or, I mean, alternatively, I could just let it run and just, you know, have a higher payment. I don't know, I'm making a decent amount of money per day, but I think maybe I'll borrow, let's try this. We'll borrow 20, 25,000. Apparently that's not enough. Okay, 20 grand then. That actually will exceed it. Yeah, yeah, because, okay, because so, that's a little over 20. So let's borrow $18,000. Thank you. And then I'll take and pay off this one. So I'm left with I oh, know two loans still, but for higher amounts, I got twelve thousand nine. I should be able to get the fast food restaurant up and running with that. I think. Let's see if I can get it, get it up and running with that. It still wants me to go to the other wholesaler. I don't understand why that's being recommended. It's just better to go to the other one. Um, if I can get away with not not going to that one, I will. Uh, wait, no, I don't want to park yet. I want to go buy equipment. I don't want to go to Metro Wholesale. I, I don't even know why that building needs to exist. <laughs> the other wholesaler is just better in every way. Let's park here. And we're going to say... Uh, let's see. I need, I need more cabinets. We'll get like two more of these. Let's make sure we have a hand truck. Okay. Um, let's get two more cabinets. We'll get a... I think I need a fry machine for sure. That's $4,000. I 
I don't know if I need the fridge. Do we need fridges now for for frozen goods? Freezers and stuff? Or can I still put the frozen stuff on the normal shelves? Bakery showcase. Restaurant booths. I can just have a walkout. Like a, it's like a takeout restaurant to start. Uh, trash bin. Hey, you know, I wonder if trash bins will help with... Like, customer ratings on our cleanliness and stuff. I'll get one. So that's five grand already. Yeesh. But that gives me a grill and a fryer. So burgers and fries, man. I'm just going to focus on burgers and fries for now. Just to get the place up and running and profitable. Then really quick, let me make sure these guys are still training. Uh, all right, so trash bin... Place it by the door. Make sure you throw your stuff out on the way out. And then cabinet with the drawers. Place that here. Place the second one right here. And then place the industrial fry machine along the back wall like so. We can slide this over. Uh, no, we'll have an extra cabinet. Yeah, we'll have this cabinet be here. And slide this over like this. Uh, no, we want a place where employees can walk around the cabinet. So it'll be like this. Yeah, that's fine. Give them some room in there. <sighs> okay. So that takes care of everything we could do there. And then we need a, uh, a register, which is down the road a little bit, right? I think that's down the road. Uh... Which direction? <laughs> I'm, I'm lost now here. Let's go. I think it's, it's down the road in that direction. Excuse him. Excuse me. Coming through. I, you know, honestly, that place is probably closed by the time I get there. I bet they close at 8. Let's see. What time do you close? Oh, you close at 9. No, you, you are closed. You open it in 14 hours. Okay. Uh, so we'll get the appliances there. That's where we're going to get the cash register and stuff. And then... We'll go to Metro Wholesale and buy the the bare minimums to satisfy this checkbox. I don't think I need to. I could just go get the burgers from the other place. They're cheaper there. I'll just do it in the other place. So we're going to sleep. I love how there's parking only on one side of the street. I like how the parking sp spots are just really crowded at night. It's realistic considering this is like a residential area. People would want street parking while they're home, but then more parking available while it's, uh, uh, this place opens at nine. So we'll go like this. You're basically making Char Donald's. <laughs> oh, Char Donald's would have been a good way to do it too. Would have been a good name. Doesn't quite flow, but yeah. Uh, cleaning skill. So 43% on the cleaning skill. I like it. Let's hire Lauren Taylor. And then we'll go over to our business. Because I don't really want to... Yeah, interior is awesome now. Lovely. Um, I don't really want to have to deal with cleaning all the time, okay? So Lauren, you're on the cleaning station here. If it can get you to start an hour before everybody comes in, that'd be great. And then you just work like that. Does she want full time? She does. So I need to put her like that pretty much every day. I'll just have you do that. And then actually reduce your hours a little bit because you don't need that many hours. Lauren will come in and clean every day just to keep this place tidy. 30 hours a week. As little as I can give her <laughs> to make her happy. Okay. So that's good. And business is dirty, blah, blah, blah. Lauren's going to clean that today. Okay. So it's, it's going to be fine. He's going to come right in and make it happen. All right. So I don't have to deal with the grift anymore. So uh, I want to real quick go to employees. Are you guys still training? Yes. Training today. Training today. Okay, good. 
So I'll have these three guys being on the, uh, these three employees will be for the fast food restaurant. Okay, so we'll get another soda machine too. So does, so does like this thing that, I wanna say the margins are decent on it, but, cause you, you purchase 60 for, what was I purchased? Like 60 for $89? Or something like that and then you sell it for three bucks a piece so your, your profit margin is more than 100 percent it's pretty good on soda uh let's get another counter i'm probably gonna need a couple of these i want to have other other grills and stuff too all right so the rest of my money is gonna be put towards product basically the rest of my money's got to be dedicated towards like burgers and stuff all right place uh, I'll place the cash register there. So I need to buy paper bags too, unfortunately. All right. Uh, and then I want to take the cabinet and place it uh, like this. So just like we'll have an extra cash register and stuff over here too. And that's everything's fine. Um, okay. So now I've got shelves. I've got everything I need really, except for places for people to sit down and eat. That's going to be later. 